Hi guys, Liz is here, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Russia! Today I'm taking you to the Russian McDonald's and I'm going to show you what's happened to it after two years of sanctions. Right now I'm at Kyivska metro station. As you can see, far away there will be uh, Moscow city, beautiful, huge highway. If you will take this road, you will go to the Kyivsky uh, railway station. This is European shopping mall and this is our Fkusna i Tochka Russian McDonald's. It has a big separate building and it is not uh, an average McDonald's. Usually they are not that fancy, they are smaller and often they are located just in, inside shopping mall. Ladies drinking coffee from McDonald's and having her cigarette is having completely purple outfit yeah spring in Russia is not looking very nice but anyways so some weird guys walking around but McDonald's looks cool so let's go inside and check out the prices Working hours of this McDonald's is from 6 a.m. until midnight. Here you can see the bright sign that you can work here in McDonald's and it says that they increase the salary and it's now up to 65,000 rubles, which is even less than a thousand dollars. Inside, as usual, it's a very typical picture is that Russian McDonald's is always crowded. It's not even a lunch time right now and it's not after working hours time, so all day around it's very very busy. Almost everywhere in Russian McDonald's you have to use this self-service kiosks. Only one cashier is usually available for people who need to pay by cash. You can see big lines of people who are waiting for the order. Now you can see the menu of Russian McDonald's. So this is new items and specials, combos, super box and kids combo. Let's see what is super box. It's actually like a happy meal for adults. I tried it once, uh, so it's like a promo for some special big bloggers, influencers or something. So I want to show you combo. And look how cheap it is. It's only 329 rubles for this big meal. Large and normal size. Let's choose normal size so here fries medium you can add potato veggies carrot sticks veggie salad and a caesar salad but you have to add like a dollar for it let's choose average fries medium no sauce select product oh here i like the options here because you can actually choose juices, but I don't want cola, so I want to choose orange juice and some additional things, no. And this juice is actually quite nice. It's, I think it's more healthy than uh, Dobri cola, which yeah. is very, very sugary. In the end, the self-kiosk machine will suggest you to donate for the charity. You can choose yes or no, thank you. And I, our order is done. Let's wait for it. 
kitchen inside looks pretty decent i honestly seen worse i remember once i went to mcdonald's and this system was broken so i have to wait maybe for 20 minutes because if this is broken it's going to be such a mess with orders it took only one minute to prepare my order i came here in the right time it is a russian patriotic happy meal toys masha and the bear actually they are quite cute it's not a bad idea This is what I've got for 329 rubles. It's very cheap food that you can get here in Russia. I actually very surprised how they managed to keep prices that low. Trays are not that dirty this time. I think it's a big improvement. This is my second video about Russian McDonald's on my channel. The first one was when I was in my hometown in Vladivostok and the service was so, so bad. I found a hair in the pie and dirty trays, but it's been two years since Russian McDonald's is open. So I definitely can tell that they have improved the quality i just realized that i'm wearing orange and i'm pretty much like vkusne i točka branding so yeah let me take a sip of my orange juice same same colors the juice is pretty decent it's so much better than coca-cola it's not like um orangey sugary watery drink it's a decent orange juice so yeah it's very nice for this kind of price In my opinion, it doesn't taste as original McDonald's anymore. After two years of McDonald's being gone from Russia, they changed logistics chains. So probably they are using different ingredients right now. So the taste slightly changed. The recipe of the burgers are not the same as well. Here I can definitely feel different cheese and uh, different uh, sauce taste and uh, bread and meat they have more Russian taste like I feel the taste of Russian food before if you would try McDonald's in Russia it would still have standardized taste but now it feels like and it tastes like a real Russian McDonald's. I think I honestly changed my opinion recently about Kusne Tochka because when I tried it in Vladivostok in 2023, I was really disappointed. I didn't like it. But now I think they balanced the recipes, they improved the quality, and now it's very nice. I like the bread in here. The meat is all right, a lot of sauce, so overall it tastes good. On potato I can comment uh, the same that I think they found a uh, right balance of ingredients. It doesn't taste uh, dry, it doesn't taste oily. Potato feels a little bit more Russian taste because uh, they use more local potatoes and yeah. It's pretty much okay.
nice glimpse of uh, blue sky very positive looking afternoon here in Moscow to be honest February was pretty depressing now we finally feel warm temperature feel so much better to see a bit of blue sky so let's go and I will show you another less fancy Vkusna i Točka in this district it is very beautiful scenery people are waiting their bus Moscow city I live not that far away just on the opposite side from Moscow city I need to cross the road and I'm heading to Kievsky railway station this area already was on my vlog in December I went to this star coffee to try Christmas style coffee and also I visited this, this area to go to the nail salon so yeah I'm, I'm sorry about my nails by the way they are not done and they are not good looking because I just finished to make renovations in my house so they were covered in white paint so I need to come back here to do my new nails and we will cross this tiny road and you already can see Vkusne Itochko logo so it's more hidden Russian McDonald's not that fancy as the first one I, I decided to show you the big one first because it's just nicer to film over there it's it has a lot of space and nice lighting so this McDonald's that I will show you is actually located on a basement level same entrance same salary expectations so let's go inside you need to order in here but actually the kitchen and the cashiers are on the ground it is not that spacious as a previous one and it doesn't have windows that's why I decided to film over there but I want to try something else so maybe we can order some dessert or ice cream for dessert they have Norwegian berry pie and cherry pie but no thanks I tried this one this is not delicious pie I don't want to try right now so maybe we just uh, will do small ice cream or something so price for the ice cream is this one is 98 the smallest one just 49 so let's do this one I decided to go with Russian McFlurry it's only less than two dollars 153 rubles so I wanted to try it because it's a new taste it's orange and chocolate It is really positive sunshine because I thought a Russian winter is never going to end. It was endless. So it feels so much better right now. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to get uh, real updates about life in Russia because I'm Russian who live in Moscow, so I'm filming a real vlogs. 
also if you want to support my channel and my job financially you can become my sponsor or send me a super thank you hardship sticker because my income is my views and my dear sponsors so yeah guys thank you so much for staying with me until the end i will see you very soon in my new positive uh, spring vlogs thank you so much for staying with me until then and i will see you in my next one